to receive. Aubrey Thomas, the deep man for the Wolverines. And he'll start from his own goal line. And Thomas gets up to the 16-yard line before being dropped. Time not. Higdon, the single setback. And they give it on the end around. This is Ronnie Bell, and Bell is dropped for a loss. That's a loss of two. Terrific job by the Northwestern defense. J.R. Pace with the tackle. Here's Patterson to throw out of the shotgun with Tom. Tucks it. And Patterson tackle for a loss. That should be a sack. Joe Gaziano, the Boston native, with his third sack of the season. And away from the one-yard line. Riley Lees is the deep man for the Wildcats. Lees backpedals. will get a shot. Starts at the 30. Gets up the field. Hits the sideline. And finally knocked out of bounds. Shy of the 45. A 54-yard punt. Outside almost all day. John Moten won't get an opportunity here. Thorson decides to run it, turns it up field, gets about a yard, a yard and a half. Rashawn Gary coming up with the tackle for Michigan. Michigan. Second and six at the 37. Thorson to throw it, drops it off underneath. Looks like a bubble screen. Caught J.J. Jefferson with the afterburners. J.J. Jefferson down. The Michigan one. That's a gain of 36. David Long with the saving tackle. For the Michigan one. Quarterback sneak. No signal yet. Touchdown, Northwestern. Patterson empty backfield. They're throwing. Patterson scrambling now, under pressure, looking, delivers down the field, incomplete. Once again, Peoples Jones, the intended receiver, so two, three and outs for Michigan to start this game, and Northwestern's flying right now. And guess who the have been 50 yards or more with a long of 64. Lees starts at the 29 and is wrapped up at the 35. And he's going to get a little shot. In fact, five kickoff returns for touchdown in his career. Thorson to the sideline, throws it high and caught. Well thrown, Kyrick McGowan with the catch. That's a 15-yard game. And all of a sudden, Clayton Thorson is coming out, and he's pretty hot to start this game. His green in motion. And Winovich shoots the gap and brings down Moten. That's a four-yard loss. Chase Winovich had a sack last week against Nebraska. Watch Winovich go inside, and then he gets upfield in order to make this. He's going to swim inside. Now he's upfield, and he's able to get Moten to the, to the ground. This guy plays with an energy that is infectious. Now he's out techniquing his opponent. Thorson underneath, and it's caught. This time, Jockey O'Bowman, very long 40 yards. Ben Mason, number 42. He's a load, 6'3", 254. And they give it to Higdon. Higdon trying to get through. I don't think he did. It'll depend on the spot. But Northwestern feels that they've stopped him. And they have. What a play from Patty Fisher. I don't think he got there. He needed to get the ball to the 42-yard line. That is certainly short. Watch Patty Fisher as he's going to come from his linebacker. He slips under the block and then gets that ankle first. And that move that Higdon had made to the left was right into the waiting defender's arms. Watch Patty Fisher. He goes under. Watch that. See how he has to go left? Who's there? Another defender. What a play from the middle linebacker, the sophomore from Katy, Texas, and this Northwestern team. And they're short. Was Michigan. 12-yard line, Thorson in the corner. Incomplete, but a flag on the play. Skoranek, the intended receiver, David Long hanging all over him. Pass interference, defense number 22, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down.
And this is one of those instances where there's a lot of hand fighting going on between the two players. But because this ball is a little underthrown, see us Karanik's trying to come back and then all that contact against David Long. And Long is all over him. Look at that left hand, right. I mean, he is all over him. That is. Looking, touchdown, Northwestern. Wow. What a start for Pat Fitzgerald and the Wildcats. Patterson, Higdon with room, and Higdon finally popping one through. Stopped by J.R. Pace, a gain of 18. We talked down in midfield. Patterson, deep drop, looking. Patterson has a receiver, and it's caught. This time, Nick Eubanks. Back up tight end, gains 21. Now the Wolf. Here's the reverse. Peoples Jones with room. First down, Peoples Jones. Finally knocked out of bounds at the five by Blake Gallagher. The goal to the four. Higdon, touchdown, Wolverines. Karan Higdon finds Pater. And Michigan on the board now. Watch this block. You're going to get the block here and here, and that movement creates an unbelievable seam, and then you're going to get the fullback, Mason. Watch here. Boom. That is a middle linebacker fullback collision. Michigan wins it, creates a bigger hole, and Higdon walks into the end zone. Oh, oh he gets crushed. Guess who? Chase Winovich. Ooh. Watch Chase Winovich. He's just going to sneak again on the inside. And then he meets him in the backfield. Just bam. Manage this first down conversion. Third and seven at the 48. Thorson backpedaling. Thorson and Trevor. And he'll go down. Quitty pay. That's a loss of 12. Line drive. Peoples Jones with the catch, sidestepping, looking for room. Whoa, what a spin! Peoples Jones, and he'll dive forward and get to the 40-yard line. But there is a flag at the Michigan 22. Their own 12. Patterson hands it off. Higdon and a flag on the play. Higdon with all sorts of running room, but we'll see if this one will stand. Higdon finally wrestled down at the 42-yard line. Pistol. He'll give it to him. And he will be dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Guess who? Joe Gaziano made the play. Fisher and Nate Hall clean it up. Patterson over the middle. And it's caught. Collins, can he get the first down? No. What a nice tackle by J.R. Pace. The sophomore from College Park, Georgia. Park. End over end kick with a bounce back. And it will be downed at the Northwestern five. Great hustle by the Wolverines. Down and four at the 11. And Moten trying to get outside, does, but will not pick up the first down. Devin Bush and Tyree Kennel. Jake Collins will kick it away. This time, Ronnie Bell, the return man for Michigan. He tracks over to the sideline and goes out of bounds around the 40. Patterson, short pass this time. Collins gets up field. Lowers his shoulder and gets to the 45-yard line. And a mistake from Collins. He's right next to the out-of-bounds marker, and he does not go out-of-bounds, so the clock is... Patterson guns it. Nico Collins with the catch and a first down. Now they say it's incomplete. It is an incomplete pass. He didn't get in bounds. He reached back. Great catch. Yep. Great call by the official. He's all over it. And for Northwestern. Hart boots it away. And that went over the head of Lees, and it trickles into the end zone for a touchback. Down and seven at the 28. Thorson, empty backfield, underneath on a slant route. Caught, 
Nagel still on the move as he breaks a tackle and gains 14 yards. In last week's ball game, so they've got Khalid Hudson back on the field. First down, Thorson just falls down. Looks like it may have been a busted play. Thorson in trouble. Winovich again. I tell you what, Chase Winovich. His coaches say that he'll outwill you, tough you, and now his technique is better. Perfect example on this play. You know, it's pretty easy, though, when you're unblocked. Chase Winovich is an All-American caliber player, and that's... Watch list candidate, Peoples Jones, catches the line drive and just falls down at the 26. Jay Patterson to throw it. In trouble. Patterson. Oh, a burst of speed, and the quarterback picks up the first down on third and six. Shea Patterson gains 12. Play fit, deep drop. Patterson fires down the field and caught at the 10. Great throw. Nico Collins with the catch. That's a gain of 36. Let's see if they give it to Higdon. They do. Higdon caught in the backfield, and he'll be lucky if he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Ben Oxley. Patterson looking in the end zone. Incomplete. Five this season and has made three in a row. Make it four in a row. So seven at the 40. Thorson in trouble again. And he goes down. This time, it's Michael Dwumfor with the sack. And Michigan putting a lot of pressure on the Wildcats offense and now. Th this is just mano y mano here as Dwumfor is able to get upfield and get to the quarterback. A couple of Wolverines had a shot. Dwumfor is able to get there. The junior from Wayne, New Jersey, been prepared for that. Collins, Donovan Peoples-Jones, the deep man, fields it on the run at the 30-yard line. Does a nice job. As he gets to the 37, Jared McGee with the tackle on special teams. Back Western, punching up the line of scrimmage. Patterson, again out of the pocket, on the move. Caught this time. And it looks like a first down. Zach Gentry, first and 10 at the 36. Patterson. Delivers and caught at the 10-yard line. Nick Eubanks. Ran the right route that time. He absolutely. The low setback. Here's Higdon, and Higdon caught by the Gaz. Joe Gaziano again. What, man? This guy is all over the field, and he's just going to come unblocked. Remember, Winovich came unblocked? I mean, how do you leave Gaziano unblocked? Just a mistake there. They're trying to pull the opposite guard, Michael Owenu over to block Gaziano, but he's just late. He can't get there because of the speed of 97. Patterson. Delivers in. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. Jordine from 24 yards out. And good. Thorson out of the shotgun. Thorson delivers underneath and incomplete. Looks like it could have been a hold. Return for touchdown of 60 yards last week against Nebraska. Here he goes from the 24. Down to the people's Jones, burst of speed, and he's upended at the 35. Dives forward to the 37. Blake Gallagher. Patterson. Over the middle. And incomplete. That ball thrown high for Collins. And he drives this one again. Lees will start inside the 15. And Lees gets to the 30. Thorson steps up. Thorson, and he's sacked. Great pressure by Michigan. Joshua Oche with the fourth sack of the game. The dangerous went back deep. And he signals for the fair catch and has it at the 33. Remember, he's got quick feet. Here's Patterson. Delivers. Oh, nice throw. Great catch. First down. Wolverines. Zach Gentry. Patterson. Uncorks. Over the middle. Caught at the five-yard line. Zach Gentry again. 
A 21-yard gain, no flags. And on it beautifully, the corner for Northwestern, but was just a hair late. You talk about a game of inches. And Gentry pulls it in, and they got first and goal. Wow. I mean, it really was a great break by Hardage, but Patterson to hit down. Touchdown, Michigan. And that's the first lead for the Wolverines out of the gun. Thorson scrambling. Thorson looks backside and sacked again. Fifth sack of the game for the Wolverines. This time it's Quiddy Pay. He is able to pay it off. Jay Collins punting inside his own five. Peoples Jones from the 40. Peoples Jones still running. Flag on the play as he's dropped at the 40-yard line. Higdon breaks it back, looking for the first down, and he will not get it. Looks like he's short by a half yard. Sends it away. Caught at the five-yard line. Lees. And he'll get out of bounds close to the 15 with 34 seconds to go. Thorson, scrambling. Thorson, what a catch, Nagel. As he gets to midfield, clock still running. Well, actually, it stopped. Reverse his pass is complete to Flynn Nagel. Clayton Thorson. He's got to get it to the end zone, and he's sacked. Wow. Uche with his second sack of the game. Six sacks for the Wolverines. And Michigan comes back after being down 17 to nothing to win on the road at Northwestern 20 to 17. Boy. What a gutsy performance by that defense.